Uh, they were tearing out the skate park that we like to skate at. They are tearing down another skate park. A group of about five or six guys started scouting spots. They found this place. It was the most underutilized, filthy, disgusting place we could find. There was a motor home that was like a meth lab that actually exploded over there. There's a mark on the ceiling. And we figured nobody was going to miss it. The only people we were displacing was junkies and prostitutes and guys sleeping in their cars. A few guys just started it off with the wall ride over there. A few months later, we built something else. And finally, the city woke up. Two cop cars pulled up. So I walk down and I apply for a street use permit. And they're like, we know about you. I had to pull it together and I didn't look the part, but I acted the part and I could speak intelligently about what was going on with skate parks and what was going on with the legal status of skateboarding on public property. And I actually educated them about the liability laws of the state of Washington that says that they're not liable for anything that goes on down here. We did it ourselves and now the city's coming in and they're gonna tell us they're gonna rip it out. They're not gonna give us anything to skate. Media blitz. Everybody was sympathetic to us. Everybody that we contacted in the media thought it was just the greatest story going. So Dave and uh, Sean and uh, Tim formed uh, an association. They did all the book work and made it legal. Yes, I mean, we do have certain terms and conditions we follow by. We keep it as clean as we can because we want to respect that agreement with the city that you know we are trying to set a positive place for people to come and skate. And the city council and the mayor's office and people like that took us seriously when we could talk seriously with them. You know, you just gotta raise yourself to their level. You don't have to put on a suit and a tie and look the part as long as you can act the part and know what you're talking about. We're so fortunate to have such, you know, awesome people who actually want to give up their personal time. I mean, it's a huge process of a lot of people doing a lot of really cool things. That was the big thing, is just opening the conversation with them and letting them realize we're not a bunch of vandals and we're not a bunch of criminals down here. We're just, we're just people that want to take responsibility into our own hands for building a place to skate.